Hi fellow YouTubers and diesel heater fans. Um, just showing you what I've done to capture some of the heat from the exhaust that would normally be wasted. This exhaust on this is about half a metre, something like that. And it's the one that came with it. And all I've done is it comes down here, it goes, bends across there, goes back and then goes out this door. So there's not much poking out the back, a couple of inches of pipe and then the silencer. I've knocked this up, this box, out of a bit of stainless steel plate, which I got from when I replaced the kitchen cooker hood. So I always keep bits of metal, always come in handy. And all I've done is just bashed it into a square, spot welded it, and I put a plate on the front with uh, self tapping screw bolt things. And then I've gone on eBay and got this little fan. It's 12 volt. It was 13 pounds off eBay. I think the delivery was free. And what it does is just blows air around the exhaust and out of this hole here. Now my first attempt, because this is the multi-pipe version, all I did is there's an old, there was an hole in the side there. And I just ran this blower into the box and it then went around the exhaust and came out the hole. And that did work. <coughs> but I thought, well, I'm wasting a bit of heat that could come into the room just to catch that bit of heat. So this little 12 volt fan is running off this antique power supply that reads volts and amps. At the moment it's at 5 volts and about 3 amps. I expect that's adding to the cost of running it, but compared to the ridiculous cost of fuel and heating in England at the moment, it's only going to be peanuts in comparison. Now, I've got this heat thing here. So the box itself is at 15.4C centigrade. So I'll take my glove off, I'll see how hot that is to the touch. No, it's alright, I can touch it. The heat is on about half power at the moment or about 4.8 kilohertz on constant. Now the heat that's coming out of that is 42.7 centigrade. It's not a great deal compared to the 62 that's coming out of the proper outlet, but that's pure free heat that would have just gone out of the door into the outside world. So that's a little bit extra heat. Now when it's up full, and this is turned up a bit more, it does give quite a heat out of here. Now, to improve this, I could probably go on eBay and buy a longer exhaust system, maybe the uh, one and a half metre, or maybe two metre, come out of here, coil around a bit more, and then out the door. I presume as long as you kept it going down here well, you wouldn't get any um, problems with condensation building it and blocking it up. Um, and I think that would save a little bit more heat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the heat here. The exhaust here is 96 degrees C.
outside where it comes through the door is 20 degrees C. So that heat is obviously coming out here rather than coming out into the workshop rather than going outside. So as far as I'm concerned that's a bit of a win. Well I'm just going to give you a little close up bit of wobbly cam footage handheld that's the uh, fan that's the probably antique power supply now and that's the box I knocked up so that's my video if you've got any comments of how I could do this better they're all appreciated take care and stay warm